I'm standing right here next to the Predator. Third time, second place at the Mr. Olympia. Kai, how do you feel right now? Man, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still having time, haven't had time to process yet. My hands are still dirty from Protan. Got the oil to prove it. Yes. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still processing, um, but I'm very thankful for where I'm at. You know, we've accomplished a lot. Uh, I've received a lot of support along the way. Um, this has been an incredible journey just to get here. And, uh, you know, being at, uh, uh, you know, second best in the world at this moment, um, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it comes with its privileges. So I'm, you know, I have a lot to be thankful for. Um, still got a lot of work to do. And um, I'm still excited and enthusiastic about getting it done. So, um, yeah, this is, this is interesting, to say the least. After last night's prejudging, a lot of people had you winning. Coming here today, how did you feel? Did you feel like you're in, you're in, you're in the leader, you're, you're in the winner? You know, I mean, you're, you're ahead of Phil, or did you feel like you're still battling? Well, you, you know, you never really know. You know, I'm not a judge. You know, I'm an athlete. And the athlete has the assignment, and that assignment is to get the work done. You know, all the other stuff, comparing apples and oranges and who's better and who can and who doesn't and who shouldn't have and who doesn't have a chance, those are things that I can't say. You know, I could try to, but I, in order to do that, I have to overstep a whole lot of boundaries that really are not my, my, um, my assignments to cross, you know. So I got to focus on what's important to do and work in the capacity that I'm supposed to be working in. And at this time, you know, I still recognize that I'm a creator, I still recognize that I'm an athlete, and, you know, I can't really judge, you know. So even in the throes of, you know, when you're doing really well or believe that you're doing really, really well, you still have to recognize that I'm not in a judging pit. I don't know what's going on. There's a whole lot of other working pieces of information that, you know, determine who the champion is. Um, so you can just work hard and just hope that, you know, you're not working in vain. And at the end of the day, your efforts will be rewarded. So, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm very excited still and um, I'm very appreciative of where I'm at. Present. Did you feel you was going to win this show coming here tonight? Yes. Yes. I, I and I still believe that the possibilities exist. I believe in in um, infinite possibilities and, uh, you know, circumstances and situations don't say who the man is it's what the man does in the face of these things that will you know identify who he is bible says we know a tree by the fruit it bears so i'm still working to you know bear some good fruit and hopefully by doing that still identifying myself as the man that i want to be and not right. who people would sooner want to depict me as now after the heated press conference and after a heated first call out yesterday mm -hmm. what's the situation like with you and phil well, there is no situation, you know. Um, you know, he's an athlete that was that had an assignment, you know, when coming out here to perform and, and be at his best. And, you know, by, you know, order of the judges, you know, he was able to do that. So um, at the end of the day, I can't question that. I just have to, you know, um, recognize that, that it's not my call. You know, all I can do is understand for myself what is important for me, what do I want to do as a creator, as an athlete, and then focus on doing that, you know, and working with the belief that my effort and work is not in vain. So, you know, I'm, I'm just very, very excited still about the opportunity that I have available to me, and, you know, I'm looking forward to still represent the idea of limitless possibilities. So, you know, this is living, believe it or not. Right. You know, I could be laid up somewhere on life support, not able to move, right. looking around like, whoa, you know, all the things that I would like to do and what I could have done if I would have, should have, you know. But every day I get up and I'm able to identify what is important to me. And I've been given the ability to take my, my resources, my machines, and, and work towards cultivating that. And that's a blessing in itself. It's a lot of blessings in itself. I'm excited to recognize that and I refuse, I refuse to walk away in disbelief. I still believe that I represent and I'm a part of the idea that is limitless possibilities. And I believe as long as I'm able to do that, I have a lot of reason to stay charged up, to, taste, to, taste, to stay passionate and to be excited about getting the work done. What is the reason for you not doing the European tour? 
Um, well, right now it's still very early to tell. I was working with the expectation that I was going to win the Olympia this year and be looking at other possibilities. So right now, uh, that didn't happen. So Did I don't know. The shows? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I still have pro tan on my hands. Still haven't gotten to take that good shower yet and that happy meal. So I'm, I'm looking forward to do that and then uh, do some processing then. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying the night and I'm very thankful for having the opportunity to talk with you. Well, I'm going to let you go ahead and enjoy your night and get that pro tan off your hands. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, so for second place, Third time, second place, Mr. Olympia. Hey, hold on, no, I really got to give a special shout out to my boy, George Farah, who go. worked with me amazingly. I mean, man, I, I'm i very, very thankful to have him as a coach, uh, nutritionist. I got to give a shout out to uh, Pinnacle. Um, they were just, you know, Peter, Adam, really incredible guys, really incredible men. The company is great. Gerard, thank you for putting a very powerful supplement company behind me. Without you, I would not have been able to work as hard as I have been with the support that I've needed to go forward. So I'm very, very thankful to Muscle Meds, very, very, very thankful to Flex Magazine, AMI, you've been tremendous in my life. And I'm looking forward to continue to do great things. I'm inspired to do great work, and I'm excited still to get it done. Well, you heard it here first. For Mr. Getting It Done, Kai Green, I'm Dennis James for FlexOnline.com. Bye-bye. <laughs>